Hey there viewers, welcome to my channel. In today's video we got this 2003 Honda Accord. This is a 3.0 V6 engine and 2003 to 2007 is same, okay? So it has a code for oxygen sensor. I do have an oxygen sensor in my hand right here. This is why usually I use Denso and there's a part number on this particular one right there if you need to. So this code is for bank one, sensor two. Usually in a six cylinder car, you will have bank one and bank two. How would you determine which one is a bank one, which one bank two is? Usually the engine on this car is sitting this way and the belts are that way. So the right side, cylinder number one, which will be on the right side. Uh, so that's the one with the firewall. So it's all in the back and the bottom. That's the sensor we're talking about. If you have coach or bank two, that's the one close to the radiator. So you will look into sensors and radiator. But the code here is P0139, okay? It says uh, heated oxygen sensor, O2 sensor, bank one sensor two, slow response. So it's giving a slow response, okay? So it's not a circuit or any other uh, issues, okay? So we, I didn't place the sensor on this, maybe it was a bad sensor. Also, it, it's given a code for that. It's lean and rich. Uh, so it could be a vacuum leak, it could be something else, but this one I warranty the customer, so I gotta replace it again, but I did not make a video last time. So this time I am making a video. I do have catalytic converter videos on this car. If you need to do V6, I do have, all you need to do is go on my channel, and I put in, it uh, doesn't have to go to, go to YouTube, put in a Honda Accord front brake pads, RB the mechanic. Anything you want to look up, put it RB the mechanic in back and you will find a video, a particular video. Sometimes it's compatible with one or another car. I do have a lot of torque specs. But anyways, uh, we're going to change the sensor out and uh, it's in the bottom. And let's get to it and then we're going to reset the light. So let's go underneath the car. Alright, so let's go underneath this vehicle and uh, right down here. You're gonna have the oxygen sensor right there, okay? That's the oxygen sensor right there we're looking at. And the connector is all the way up on the top. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna remove the sensor and install a new sensor. All right, so let's get that going. And uh, what we're gonna need to do is, you, this one been worked on, but you're gonna remove the zip ties, zip ties. And uh, if you have, you're gonna have clips, clips, clips. And we're gonna take out that sensor, okay? Got my cutter here, but uh, if you have uh, clips, remove the clips. You're probably gonna have to use one of those forks or a flathead screwdriver. Do not cut into the wiring. And there's one up on the top here, which it's gonna be a little bit hard to get to, but I got it right on the neck of the zip tie. Ah, that zip tie wasn't joke. There you go. Okay, so pretty much the sensor should be uh, lose the cable, meaning harness, but the sensor we still need to loosen it up. So we'll use a oxygen sensor tool to remove that. Let me get this out of there because we're gonna have to zip tie this back together. All right, so once we're done, up on the top, we're gonna have to remove the sensor from the top. All right, so but we're gonna install the sensor from down here and just let it sit over here, and then everything should just work out pretty easy. You don't have to come back down, you can zip tie the new sensor. But let me get to that sensor now. Let me bring in some tools. Okay, so I'm using this oxygen sensor tool here. This is a special tool. This is, uh, you could probably fit in a 22 millimeter, but there's some numbers on this tool right there if you need to get that. All right, it's seven by eight. And it says CRV on it. I don't know why it says CRV. I'm putting this on the Honda Accord, baby. And I'm gonna put that little extension there. Then I'm gonna come down and grab my ratchet. Sorry, I had to come down. And 3 8 ratchet. All right, this is, like I said, this is a new sensor, so it's pretty easy. But if you have an old sensor, those are not gonna come out so easy. So this is bada bing, bada boom. But if, but I'm sure you should be able to get it. If you use a proper tool, it should come out. And if you need to heat it, you can heat the neck right there if you're replacing a sensor. So there you go. 
there's our sensor is hanging so i'm gonna go get a new sensor and we're gonna put in a new sensor and notice this thing has an anti -seas in it so the new package does come with anti -seas. the little bit of gray leather tube in there just put that all around it and put that in so we're gonna install the new sensor in here and we're gonna uh i'm gonna put you're not gonna see me put the ties i'm gonna put the ties back together and then once i disconnect that sensor i'm gonna just pull this sensor upward and we're done okay okay so here's our new sensor i want to tell you one thing okay do not mix up like i'm doing you know once i disconnect that old sensor i'm gonna pull it out right away i don't want to get mixed up and then you but you know you're gonna know which one's connected you can pull it it's not gonna come out all the way but like I said, do not mix it up. A lot of times you'll take off uh, sensors and you'll mix it up. But, okay, I'll give you a torque spec on this, but usually I do not torque oxygen sensors. And the reason is uh, sometimes uh, you make a mistake, but uh, sometimes you cannot fit your tools in here properly. But uh, it's gonna be all kind of awkward angles, so I just go ahead and I'm gonna tighten this, but I'll give you a torque spec and you'll get back to me on that one if you need other specs on other sensors okay so i got my tool on it and i'm gonna just snug it i'm using a pretty pretty long leverage so i don't want to go crazy either so usually these are like 30 some foot pound but i'll give you the spec i'll look it up in my computer and uh i'll show you that in a moment okay now that i have this installed all i need to do is reroute my harness here and then we're gonna go up on the top and disconnect and connect the new sensor okay now from up over here you're gonna have connectors okay you're gonna follow the lead that's coming from the bottom and it's coming uh from all the way down there and you're gonna disconnect that sensor that particular sensor so we're looking at um this sensor right here okay this there's two connectors over here so all you're gonna do is remove the connectors okay i'm not gonna be able to show you this part because I got both of my hands are tied up. One is the camera, one is the connector. So there's the connector. So all you do, you squeeze this and the connector. Yours will be stuck onto like a metal shield right here. This one, uh, it was it, it was tied. Okay, it was tied to that because the clip is broken, but that's normal. So you just squeeze this and remove the harness and uh, put in a connect in a new plug. And I'll give you a torque specs just about in a moment. So I did disconnect the sensor and I did break the harness there. I mean the the. Uh, the tie and check this out there's our sensor though this is the old one so all i need to do is connect to my new sensor let me put this down slowly and uh remember we put the harness right there you do not want to lose it and all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this and you're gonna connect this okay make sure you hear click okay make sure you hear click if you do not hear a click, if your sensor does not fit, it's probably a wrong sensor. Always check your connectors first, but I do know it's the same sensor. Bada bing, bada boom. Make sure you tie it up again if your sensors are loose because it will touch the exhaust system and you will burn the harness. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna give you a torque spec. Okay, so let me give you a torque spec. So you got four oxygen sensors. One, two, three all the way back there. One down below, four sensors. All four sensor, it doesn't matter which one you're doing, is 33 foot pound, okay? That's what you're gonna tighten it to, torque it to, 33 foot pound. Any of the sensors is the same spec. All four are the same spec. But anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Oh, one more thing. Uh, a lot of people probably don't have a scan tool um, to reset the light. To reset the light, what you could do is disconnect the battery. You could take off this negative, uh, leave it off for like four or five minutes, and then the computer should reset. But... Warning, your radio code, your memory is gonna lose, okay? But it's okay to reset like that with this particular car because you're not gonna lose a throttle body memory and crazy stuff like that. But anyways, if you have a radio code, you could do it like that. But I would suggest you invest into a small little scan tool, spend about like good $80. So I have something like this, Blue Point, uh, spent, um, this is like $90, but it works good for me. And it can save you a lot of money down the road. What if you have a check engine light and it could be as simple as a uh, cooling sensor down here or um, air temperature sensor there, map sensor. You know, you could some things you could do yourself, oxygen sensor. But anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.